हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू टुडेज लाइव सेशन दिस इज डॉक्टर दिव्या फ्रॉम टीम एमडीएस कॉन्कर होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग योर प्रिपरेशन वेल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डाइव इनटू सम सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस इन पीरियोडोंटिक्स सो स्टे इंटरेक्टिव ग्रैब योर नोट्स एंड लेट्स क्रैक देम टुगेदर ओके सो हियर इज योर फर्स्ट इमेज आई एम डिस्प्लेइंग होप यू ऑल कैन सी द इमेज right you need to identify what this image is so people have joined now i welcome you all again so today we are discussing image based questions in subject periodontics so you need to identify what is the displayed image now yeah i can see few answers coming up and everybody is answering it right more answers yeah this is a plain molar band okay it is a preformed one and it is made up of stainless steel so where we can attach our orthodontic appliances and space maintainers either we can solder them or weld them to these bands so this is a plain molar band okay and it is made up of stainless steel so hope you all got it so moving on to our next image so again here is another image for you so you need to identify what this appliance is hope you all can see the image so i need you to identify what this appliance is see here i can see a molar band and also some wire component here so yeah i got answers from ankita and girishma shrusti everybody is answering it right so more answers what is this appliance yes it is a band and loop space maintainer so this is indicated in cases where there is premature loss of only one posterior teeth either in maxilla or mandible whenever there is early loss of any posterior primary teeth one one teeth is lost in order to maintain that space we will indicate this band and loop space maintainer it is a unilateral fixed passive appliance okay so i hope you all will remember this band and loop moving on to our next image so here is your next image i need you to identify what this appliance is so here again i can see two molar bands and also a wire component that is spanning the entire arch so what this appliance is yeah start answering i need you to identify what is this appliance once you identify we can go about the function of this appliance okay yeah this is an lingual arch space maintainer and it is also called as lingual holding arch okay as you all said it's a fixed appliance it's a bilateral appliance so the main indication of this lingual arch space maintainer is whenever there is early loss of multiple posterior teeth when most of the posterior teeth are lost in order to maintain that space we are going to give this lingual arch space maintainer okay but there is a very important indication that you need to know it is only advised after your lower anterior especially your lower laterals are erupted so after the lower laterals are erupted then only we can advise this appliance okay so this is an lingual arch space maintainer and it's indicated when there is multiple loss of posterior teeth only in the mandibular arch it is not given in maxilla there is a reason it is called lingual arch it is only given in mandible okay okay then moving on to our next image this is also a space maintainer but there is some modification it is looking like a lingual arch but there is a modification so what is this appliance so in lingual arch we saw a plain wire component right but now we can see some loops are added to it so i need you to identify what is this modification yeah there are answers coming up i hope you all can see the image right so what is this modification 
that is done to lingual arch yes gauri answered it right gayatri is answering it right i am very happy that most of the people answered this this is this is hot's modification of lingual arch this is hot's modification h o t z hot's modification of lingual arch where we incorporate u loops so this u loops adjusting these u loops help us in gaining some space some minor tooth movements and to gain space also we can use this modification got it so previously we saw lingual arch and this is a modification of lingual arch where we can gain space and also maintain it so this is hot's modification of lingual arch yes okay moving on to our next image for the day so here again we have an interesting appliance so i want you to identify what is this space maintain so again we have we can see two molar bands here and a wire component and along with it we can see some acrylic so acrylic button is placed in the palatal space so what is this appliance so i can see our answers so people who joined just now identify what is this appliance Likita just answered. Adarva answered. Very good. Keep the answers coming. What is this appliance? Yes. So everybody answered it right. It is Nan's palatal arch. So it is an appliance. Fixed appliance that is given only in the maxillary arch. Okay. So where it is indicated? It is indicated when there is multiple loss of posterior teeth in the maxilla. whenever there is multiple posterior teeth loss then we are going to go about this nan's palatal arch so an acrylic button is placed in the anterior region which provides resistance to the movement of the teeth so it stops the mesial drifting of the molars permanent molars so what is the indication of nan's palatal arch it is given in cases where there is multiple posterior teeth loss in maxilla got it okay then Let's move on to the next one. So here we are with a radiograph. I need to identify what is this appliance. So what is this appliance that you can appreciate on the radiograph? So here again there is a band, there is a horizontal bar to this appliance and also a vertical arm to this appliance. So what is this? Yeah, people are answering. I hope you all can see the image, right? Yeah, that is a space maintainer, Priya. But be specific. What is that appliance exactly? So first, I want you all to identify it. Then we can go about its indication. If people have answered, then I want to know the other names. There are many names to this appliance, right? So you can answer about the other names of this appliance also. shiny answered vanilla answered good yeah this is a distal shoe space maintainer so the other names for this distal shoe space maintainer is it is also known as eruption guiding appliance and it also known as intra alveolar appliance so what is the reason that we call it as eruption guidance appliance so to know that we need to know the indication of this distal shoe space maintainer you know the main function is it helps in guidance of eruption of permanent first molar in order to guide the eruption pathway of permanent first molar we give this appliance so in normal conditions our primary second molar guides our permanent first molar in its position so when there is early loss when we extract an early stages our primary second molar then we need something to guide the eruption then we'll give this appliance okay so distal shoe is indicated when there is early loss of second primary molar before the eruption of permanent first molar hope you all you all understood the concept so there is one more important mcq that can be asked from this where should this vertical bar lie since it is guiding the eruption we need to place the you can see a horizontal bar and a vertical bar so you need to know where this vertical bar lies where it should contact the permanent teeth 
any idea where it should contact the permanent molar so this vertical bar that you are seeing goes into the alveolus into the socket and it should lie 1 mm below the mesial marginal ridge of permanent molar okay good answers are right it is 1 mm below the mesial marginal ridge of permanent first molar okay so this is distal shoe appliance hope you all will remember it then moving on to our next one here is your next image for the day so i need you to identify what is this i hope you all can see it many people are joining now i want you to identify what this appliance i am showing you good gauri priya suguna everybody is answering it right yeah this is a trans palatal arch it is also a kind of space maintainer it's a trans palatal arch okay so it is indicated where in order to stabilize the molars in order to stabilize the permanent molars we are giving this trans palatal arch when one side of the arch is intact and other side multiple teeth are missing in order to maintain the position of our permanent molars we are giving this trans palatal arch okay you can see a u loop here also so minor tooth adjustments we can do with this u loop so this is the trans palatal arch it is indicated in order to stabilize our molars when one side is normal but the other side of the arch there multiple teeth are missing okay okay so we are done with our trans palatal arch guys now we are moving to our last image of the day an interesting one so what is this come on cheer up i need you to answer what is this appliance so here we can see two molar bands a wire component acrylic and also some acrylic teeth so it is looking like a kind of fixed partial denture right so what is this so you can see anterior teeth are placed there and they are looking like primary ones so primary anterior teeth are placed so what can that appliance be yeah this is a functional one but it's not trans palatal arch it is definitely a functional space maintainer because we can see teeth but it has a name so i need you to identify it it's fixed it's functional it's passive space maintainer but what is the name of this appliance so yeah people have answered it that is gropers appliance so this appliance is known as gropers appliance is not grabers it is gropers appliance so as you can see the main function of it is it is given when there is premature loss of anterior teeth when primary anterior teeth are lost in early stages before the eruption of the permanent teeth we can suggest this appliance so the main function is it to restore the aesthetics and also the function of our primary teeth so what are the main functions of primary teeth one is aesthetics the other is speech and also they help in mastication so we give this appliance when there is loss of primary teeth primary anteriors are lost we can go for this gropers appliance okay so i hope you all understood about this gropers appliance it is a kind of fixed partial denture yeah it restores speech aesthetics and also for the mastication purpose okay so that's a wrap for today guys so hope you all understood the concepts hope you all will remember this appliances the various space maintainers and their indications are very important mcqs so thank you for joining in stay tuned for more interactive sessions here and do follow us thank you and happy learning